This past Sunday, WWE gave us WWE Night of Champions, every title on the line, and I had high anticipations for this pay-per-view. I really anticipated every match more or less. And I must say, WWE delivered. There have been some comparisons between the two pay-per-views, the two big wrestling pay-per-views in July. Victory Road versus Night of Champions. And from what I have heard, there's been no discussion. People preferred Night of Champions, and I can really see why. Every title on the line, it's a big hype, it's a big thing, and it's supposed to be a big thing, and that's exactly what it was. And something that struck women so we, me with surprise was they didn't have the triple threat match Orton seen at Triple H in the main event that was not the main event match however I can really respect that I wanted to have CM Punk versus Jeff Hardy in that match and personally that was f from re retrospectively if you look back that was the right thing to do because that match delivered and we have seen so much of Orton and Triple H and seen in the past in the main events so absolutely correct give these two guys the slot and they delivered however what still surprised me was that they had the triple threat match so early it was the fifth match on the pay-per-view however that was a clever decision too because it's a famous fact you cannot have two great matches after each other because risks are nine times out of ten maybe not that often but almost that if you have two great matches in a row the second match will die because people cannot care about every match and be into every match and if they are into a match on a very very high level they need a rest match and that's why WWE was clever enough to have Orton, Cena, Triple H then follow with Mickey James versus Maurice which was not a particularly good match I have heard now that Maurice was, was injured if she was injured walking into this match is not known but it's her she was injured uh, in her knee earlier this year it's the same injury she has now decided to have surgery on it I don't know and I don't have any word for how long time Maurice is gonna be out Mickey James new uh, Divas Champion by the way also the second Diva in WWE history to become both Women's and Divas Champion after Michelle McCool very deserving she's been chasing this title for a long time I also predicted Mickey James to win uh, after that match that match was kinda dead from the crowd from a crowd perspective second match after that Dolph Ziggler versus Rey Mysterio reason why they had two matches between the two championship matches was in order to let the crowd rest and then use Dolph Ziggler versus Rey Mysterio the United States Championship title to help the crowd going back up again the match started out pretty slow it soon gazed up uh, gained more and more momentum they geared up and um, we saw Rey Mysterio retain something I also predicted would happen great match it's accelerated towards the end fantastic crowd was really into it when Rey won and um, well that's about it um, then coming up with CM Punk versus Jeff Hardy great match I, I personally would have hoped uh, CM Punk uh, to, to retain that title I like CM Punk way much more and as I've said before I cannot understand why people boo CM Punk they are supposed to boo him but actually I, I prefer th that kind of guys speaking their own opinion having an agenda but people apparently can't take that we have seen Jericho do the same thing last fall actually tell people how it is and like it is and just like CM Punk he got booed over it so that's not a, a good good thing to do in America apparently tape tail people the way it is uh, however um, I really thought CM Punk had a much one hitting the go to sleep that's why WWE built it up so tremendously we had Jeff miss the Swanton two times you really thought he had blew it CM Punk was gonna retain and yeah he hit the go to sleep one to kick out absolutely fabulous booking from that on you could really see the match getting out of CM Punk's hand he tried to sheet he tried to walk out and he, he, he really lost the momentum and Jeff Hardy won the title perfectly booked match but why did Jeff win uh, we, we have this there's rumors going on now that Jeff has not signed an extension with WWE I'm not sure whether he has signed a contract extension with the WWE 
thing is that his contract is about to expire. Hardy himself has received a lot of heat because he does not want to decide or make a decision on whether to stay with WWE or not. Hence WWE is now pushing guys like Zack Ryder, you see they put Dolph Ziggler, John Morrison, they're now pushing younger talent, mainly also because they lost Mr. Kennedy and Umaga, but also because Jeff Hardy is uncertain about his future. I for one think therefore CM Punk deserved the title more, plus as I actually said I had I have zero strikes. To me CM Punk is a much more professional athlete from a professional standpoint, hence CM Punk deserves the title more and if this has nothing to do with how the good match, how good the match was or not, because it was great. But if the case is that WWE gave Jeff Hardy this title, awarded it to him in order to make him stay, as some sort of persuasion, that's absolutely bullshit. That's absolutely bullshit, and CM Punk should not suffer by losing the title because of Jeff Hardy not ab being able to make a decision on his future, because his contract is about to expire. Things like that should not happen. I think him winning the title for a few minutes at Extreme Rules proved from WWE's point that if you stay, if you sign a contract, we will award you a title because this is the kind of things you will receive if you stay with us. Another story. Back on to Orton Triple H. Eric, uh, Orton Triple H seen an absolutely great match back and forth. I really had no clue uh, on who was going to win. I, I predicted the most of the matches right. CM Punk, Jeff Hardy, I was wrong there too. Uh, Orton Triple H, if a title change, I predicted Triple H. If not, of course, Orton was going to win, and that's what happened. Some people have complained over the legacy coming into the match. I can see why, but it also made it up for a good finishing, uh, fi finishing moment and Orton also receiving more heat. I can also say it now, I hope, as I said, the WD would now move on with Randy Orton for a new fresh opponent for SummerSlam because, as we have seen now, Triple H has had a uh, fair amount of chances. He has not taken the title from Randy Orton. Cena was the one being pinned in this match. Hence, he should also be out of the title picture. No matter if he pinned Randy Orton in the tag team match on Raw the week before, he was pinned in this match. And I could see, and I hope WWE by, through this want to say, Cena Triple H is out of the title picture. We, we'll have to wait and see, but, but that's what I hope. And maybe we can still have that Triple H John Cena match, I hope, for at SummerSlam. Uh, we will not have um, CM Punk versus John Morrison, I, I presume, for the title, since Punk lost the title. Other matches, Michelle McCool Molina, absolute great match. One of the best women's matches I've seen in a long time. I did not expect that from these two. I, I think Michelle is a good, uh, is a good athlete, but not always a good wrestler. Pretty match based, but wow, very good match. Uh, Big Show being Jericho's partner, I did not expect that. We have seen four forums everywhere. People have discussed Chris Masters. Uh, I saw now. I predicted Chris Masters. I, I felt that was the most most logic. Logic, most big of a surprise because most people do not know that Chris Masters uh, has indeed signed a contract with WWE. Uh, I've seen uh, Adolf Ziggler, perhaps. Now he wasn't the one. Maybe it was, would have been too apparent. I read on forums people <laughs> predicted Kane, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels. Not very logical choices, if you ask me. Maybe that's more. Uh, guessing by heart of wrestlers you like more than being logic in these cases. Uh, Kofi Kingston retaining. Actually, I predicted with a friend in this match that Kofi was gonna pin Carlito, and that's exactly what happened. I was just proud I had to say that. Um, Kofi retaining is absolutely fantastic. I thought Swagger, if someone was gonna win the title from him, that would be Swagger. He also had a segment where he dominated everyone, stood tall, power bombing several guys, booming himself on the chest like a gorilla, being the alpha male. I hope WWE keep pushing Swagger, because he deserves a, a main event push pretty soon, despite just being in WWE for a year. Um, Jericho, by the way, winning the title with a big show. Good move. I actually like that combo. Didn't like it at first, but yeah, they they kind of 
what do you say? They um, complement each other very good. Jericho small, not that small, but small, quick, athletic, acrobatic, big show, just big strong force whom Chris Jericho can actually hide behind. So uh, all in all, great pay-per-view by WWE. Thumbs up. They are completely blowing the brains out of TNA's Victory Road. And be sure to check out my other videos, recaps of Monday Night Raw coming up soon. Also me discussing the problems in WWE with every WWE Raw special guest host being a face. Have a nice day.